My name is Timo Pulatanli. I work for a Ford Motor Company out of our research and innovation center in Palo Alto. The SDK challenge enables us to work together with DJI on technology that hasn't been there before, that is brand new. The task we've given the teams is to take off from a moving vehicle, go to a search area, search for survivors, and then return and land on the moving vehicle. We did a few rounds of down selection and finally had to pick 10 teams to uh, come to Rome, New York to fly for the, the final competition. Those 10 teams are gonna do a great job at showing you really what's possible here with an M100, a guidance platform, along with their creative minds and software engineering skills. This competition is a fantastic demonstration of a test case for a search and rescue mission using autonomous drones for flight. Things that excited me most is applying some of the stuff we've learned academically to a potentially a real world problem, and it seemed like a uh, very good mission, search and rescue mission. So imagine a disaster area where there's some number of people that you know have to be rescued, but you can't access it. So you're in an F-150, you drive as far as you can to the disaster area, hit a button on the truck, and then it pops off the back of your truck, and then it scans an area for survivors. And when it, when it locates a survivor or a victim, it'll send the GPS coordinates back to the truck, to your little command central. We had two DJI representatives responsible for scoring and judging. They would get points for landing on the vehicle, so the contestants had to carefully manage their battery charge uh, during the mission. My name is uh, Chad Lawrence. I'm the Deputy Commissioner here at Griffiths International Airport. We've created a test environment so people can come in here and try multiple sensors, and we can help them integrate those systems, providing that data to the FAA so that they can make informed decisions to move these unmanned systems into the national airspace. The thing is, when you look into technology of other companies, you may see your own technology with a different set of eyes. And you can see with this event, this opens up a whole new industry in so many different ways, forestry and just agriculture and search and disaster relief. It's an untapped um, sea of, of possibilities and we see Ford as well as DJI in the forefront of these kind of technologies. The reason we chose search and rescue is really because that's a problem that we think everyone can get behind. It's a clear need. And we think that drones are a great alternative to putting more humans in harm's way to go solve that problem. The biggest beneficiary of this technology will just be all of mankind probably. I mean, it taps in so many possibilities that we can't now say that it's just one group of people or one kind of industry. I think drones and cars and mobility impact every aspect of life. And so this kind of challenge really gives an outlook onto every aspect of life.